Assalamu alaikum. Today I'm going to show you Kashmiri fried radish chutney or we call it Talith Muj. It's very easy to make chutney. Just a few ingredients and it gets ready in no time. So let's get started. For making this easy chutney, I have grated around half a kg of radish. Here you can see. And we have to squeeze out the water. Then salt, I have taken around one and a half teaspoon, one teaspoon of cumin seeds, one teaspoon of chili powder, and half a teaspoon of turmeric powder. And additionally, I have taken spice cake or ver that I have already shown the recipe, and oil around one and a half tablespoon. And I have taken some walnuts that I have soaked in water. So this, these will give a crunch. These are optional but they give a very good crunch. Now the first thing is I have heated up oil. Once it's heated up, I'll be adding cumin seeds to it. And then I'll add grated radish. Mix properly. And then I will cover it and let it cook like this for some time. It will release the water. So I'll cover it and here the flame is medium to low. I have not kept high flame. After around 10 minutes on low flame, I'll check. So here you can see they're not fried properly. The oil will be visible. So I will again cover it. We have to check in between. And we don't have to add any spicy. I have just added cumin seeds till now. Now after around again 10-15 minutes on low flame here you can see they are fried properly. At this stage I will be adding spices so first I start with salt. I will add salt and mix. Salt you can adjust according to your taste even chilies. This is usually hot uh, chutney like there is a good amount of chilies. So I will be adding turmeric first then chilies. Mix. And then I'll be using the worm mix or the spice cake. With worm mix, I'm adding around a tablespoon of water. Where we don't have to add directly worm or spice cake. We have to soak it in water and then add. And then I'll be adding additionally two tablespoons of water. Usually we don't add water in this chutney because the radish should not lose its crunchiness. And I'm adding now walnuts too that I had soaked. We will keep it on low flame for around again 10 minutes till the water is soaked because it's totally dry chutney. No water is visible in this. There is no gravy in this chutney. It doesn't have any running consistency. So here you can see it's ready. Now before serving, I'll just add some more walnuts for extra crunch. Make sure to fry it properly because that the raw taste that, that of radish should go away. So for that we have to fry it properly before adding spices and even after adding spices. We have to be patient with this. So here our muj setting or talith muj are ready. And they are ready to be served. We serve them hot with rice as a side dish. Give this recipe a try. Let me know in comments how it turns. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.